All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, today, we are gonna um, talk about a new concept. It's called a logarithm. And if you have a calculator, you may have never noticed, but there is a log button right here on the TI-83. Um, it can be used to calculate some logarithms, but not all. And so where did logarithms come from? Um, if you're trying to solve something with a power that you don't know, like if this was three uh, to the second, you could take the square root. If it's three to the third, you could take the third root. But when you don't know what the power is, that's what logarithms are for. You cannot take the white, 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 the white root of something that isn't a value. So the word logarithm means power. When you see the function log, you should translate that into the power I raise. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this. And this means the log two, eight equals three. This is a true statement. This means, this is all log means, the power I raise two to, to get eight is what? In other words, two to the power of three is eight. Okay. Here, what is the power I raise 10 to to get 10,000? So 10 to what power is, and this should just say 1,000. That's a mistake. If this says 1,000, this should say 1,000. So what is this used for? pH scale, the Richter scale. This is, this is used in forensic science a lot to calculate the approximate time of, uh, of death. Uh, Newton's law of cooling, the decibel scale for sound. And so we call this exponential form. Then this means two to the power of three is eight. Now, if you go from exponential form to logarithmic form, you would say two to the power of three is eight. Same thing, two to the power of three is eight. Um, so we call this the base, that's the exponent. I'm sorry, I think we call that the index. I said the wrong thing. Now, in order to take the log, this number must be bigger than zero. And um, it has to look like that. I'm saying this a little confusing. <clears throat> so one way that may help you remember is base to an exponent equals the answer. So base to the exponent equals the answer. This, this person that I borrowed this from, um, just remember bacon and eggs, base answer exponent. Okay, so base answer exponent. All right, so these really aren't too long. This is called log form. Log logarithmic, logarithmic form, and we're gonna change to exponential form. So how do you do that? Well, if you think of bacon and eggs, base, answer, exponent. So this means eight to the one third is X. And we changed from log form to exponential. We're not gonna solve any of these yet, um, but we will soon. Here, base, answer, exponent, uh, bacon and eggs, base, answer, exponents. This means X to the second is 36. That's what we say in exponential form. So you have to know how to go from one form to the other. And of course the answer would be six because six squared is 36, but we're not solving yet. 
base answer x exponent. That means x to the negative 3 halves is 125. And again, all, all I'm practicing is how to go from log form to exponential form. That's all so far. So now, how do you go from exponential form to log form? All right, so how do you simplify these? So when you see this, this probably makes no sense. What I like to do, because we're trying to find an answer, is this equals what? Remember, base, answer, exponent. So 5 to the x is 25. I bet when I write it like this in exponential form, that's a lot easier to solve because 5 to what power is 25? That'd be 2. So x equals 2. There is a way to uh, check your answer, and it's called the change of base formula. So you can't type this in your calculator um, unless you type in log of 25 divided by log of 5. And so if you type that in, log 25 divided by log of 5, it'll spit out 2. So if I type in log... 25 divided by log of 5. This is called the change of base formula. See how I get 2? Here, log base 2 of 1 16th. So again, I like to put this as equal x. This is base. This is the answer you're trying to get. That's the exponent. So 2 to what power is 1 16th? Well, you may not know that much either. Um, I'm going to write this as 16 to the negative 1. Because remember, if this is 16 to the 1, you could pull it up to the numerator and make it 16 to the negative 1. And then I'm going to try to write 16 as, as a power of 2 because this is 2. So uh, 2 to the 4th, I believe, is 16. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16. So I'm going to write this as 2 to the 4th. And now, because the base is the same, the exponent must be the same. So x equals 4 times negative 1. And I get negative 4. So anytime you have a fraction, you should think about moving it to the numerator or sometimes denominator so that you could get the same base. And again, if I type in my cal calculator log of 1 16th divided by log of 2, It'll spit out negative 4 just to check my work. The log of 1 16th divided by log of 2, negative 4. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Here, set that equal to x. Base, answer, exponent. 64 to what power is 2? Well, if we write this as a power of 2, I believe 64 is 2 to the 6th. Yep, 2 to the 6th is 64. So I get 2 to the 6th x equals 2. And so I could rewrite this as 2 to the 6x equals 2 to the 1. And then from here, if the base is the same, the exponent must be the same. So 6x equals 1. 
divide both sides by six, and I get one sixth. Okay. And if I type in my calculator, log of two divided by log of 64, I get one sixth. Okay, I know you could type this in, but I really want you guys to get in the habit of solving these by hand so you understand what they mean. Okay. So that's how you simplify a log. This is just a page of notes. Um, if you have X, that means X to the one. If you have a radical of 25, we assume that's a two, if there's nothing there. If it has a base, this means five squared equals X. Now here's the thing I want you to understand. If there's no base, we assume it's a 10. Okay, so if there's no number here, we assume it's a 10, base 10. That's, that's like the default. This has a base five. This doesn't have a base, so we assume it's 10. Just like here, we assume that's a two. Here, we assume that's a one. It's just one of those things in math that, you know, it's just the standard form. Okay, so if I have log of X, if they don't tell me this base, we assume it's a 10. And they point out on the calculator, like I already did, where that button is. So you could type all of these in your calculator, log of 100. You don't need to put in, um, you don't have to use to change a base because it's a 10. Your calculator assumes it's a 10. So if I wanted to find log of 100, I would just type in log of 100, okay, which is two. Now, why is it two? Because log of 100 this means base two, I'm sorry, base two, base 10. And we're trying to figure out base answer exponent. 10 to what power is 100? Well, 10 squared is 100. That's why when you type this in, you get 2. So the answer is 2. Here, 10 to what power is 17? That's really hard to do, so it's a good thing we have a calculator. You could just type that in. Here, this is just 2 times log of 4. Again, you could just type that in the calculator. Um, this means 10 squared is, is X. Well, 10 squared is 100, so you get 100. Which makes sense because up here, log of 100 equals 2, we already did that. Here base answer exponent 10 to the negative four is X. Okay. And then 10 to the negative four. Um, that's just scientific notation. You move the decimal place over four. Okay. I'll just leave it like this. All right. <laughs> So here's your practice. Um, we have time. I'll talk about it a little bit. Uh, we don't always have time to go over the practice. But number one through six, they want you to rewrite the equation in exponential form. This is log form. So by exponential, base, answer, exponent, this means seven to the second is 49. So I'm going to rewrite this as seven to the second. That's 49. So you're not solving anything. You're not finding anything. You're just changing from log form to exponential. That's it. Here, they want you to rewrite the equation in log form. They start you with the exponential. And sometimes this is kind of tr tricky for, for kids because the number here, 
this is what goes on the base of the exponent. This is your base, that's your exponent, that's your answer. When, when I rewrite this, this is gonna be log, and then I have to do a subscript, so that'd be 13. Remember, this is my exponent, exponent goes on the right. And then your answer goes here. So this looks like 13 to the 169. That's not what it's supposed to look like. It's log base 13 of 169. It should look more like this. I wrote my 13 too large. So it really should look like this. Log little 13, 169. That looks better. Okay. This looks like 13 to the power of 169. So try to write it like this, kind of like they do up here. So this means 13 to the second is 169. And then down here, they want you to evaluate. Um, this is called the natural logarithm. I have not taught you about natural logarithm, um, but the natural logarithm, um, the ln of e is one. And we'll learn about that later. This is so the natural log of e is one. So this means one times four, which is just four. So I'll do that one for you. But um, here you're supposed to evaluate. Like a number 26, I would say three to what power is one over 243. I would then rewrite this as three to some power. Uh, I have to play around on my calculator. Three to the fifth, maybe? Three to the fifth. Oh, three to the fifth is 243. So then I would say three to the X equals one over three to the fifth. And I'm trying to make these look the same. So I'm gonna bring this up and make that three to the negative fifth. Remember you could bring an exponent up and make it negative. Now, because the base is the same, the exponent must be the same. So the answer is negative five. So that's how you're gonna evaluate all of these. Um, like this eight and four, you're gonna make them the same number. Um, and again, I'm not trying to do all your practice for you, but it is kind of long and we have more time. So here, this means eight to what power is four. Now there's no way to write eight as a power with a four because four squared is 16, but I can write both of these with the base of two. So eight is two to the third. And four is two squared. And this is the same thing as two to the three X equals two squared. The bases are the same. The exponents must be the same. So three X equals two. Divide both sides by three and you get two thirds. So well, sometimes you have to make these the same base. All right, well, um, that's really all I have. I just want you to finish one through uh, 29. You can see they don't take too long. Uh, so I guess we'll finish up early today. Hope you have a good day and uh, I'll be on office hours if you have questions. Bye-bye.